For specialty resins, you need special profiles and all the good manufacturers usually provide profiles on their home pages. And so do we for the Myamex engineering resin. This tutorial shows you how to import such a profile into Litchi Slicer. So first, this is Litchi Slicer and we first need to get the profile. So we go to the internet to myamex.at or .com, doesn't matter. There is a tab engineering resin. If you click on that, it takes you to this page and there is also a new page slicer profiles. And that takes us to the GitHub repo. You can also go directly to GitHub at github.com slash myamex slash engineering minus resin. Here are all the profiles. As you can see, here's a folder with Litchi profiles for a few common 3D printers. We constantly add ones as we get new profiles verified. So the full thing, click on code, download zip. And then you download that. Just takes a few moments. And then you can open that up. And you have this engineering resin main folder. Inside that, you find Litchi profiles and choose the one you want. Mark it and extract it. I just put it into my downloads folder. Now I go into Litchi Slicer and now I want to go to 3D Printer. Here are all the machines that I have already added. I chose the, ma uh, choose the machine that I want to edit. So in my case, it's the Saturn and I click on add new resin. Here you could choose the community profiles, but what I want to do since I have the file, I click on import file. Yes, I want to add files. I click on downloads and choose the Elegoo Saturn resin that has LYR at the end. That's a Litchi Slicer profile. And you click on open and import. And now we have it in there. If I now go to close, then on my Saturn, here is my profile. Just leave that activated. And when I now slice with it, then the profile is active. And if your machine um, doesn't work with that profile, you just adjust the profile up and down. So you go into the profile, click on edit. And here you see all the standard settings. And let's say you think you need a little bit more time for the resin to flow back because it's a little more viscous than others. Usually 10 millimeters enough, but if you want to give the like extra room, change that to 12 millimeters. Let's say you think the exposure time uh, for the bottom layers should be a bit higher. You change that to 35. Maybe you want to uh, have the general exposure time a little bit less because eight did you give you a little, a little bit too much, then you can just change it to seven. And that's how you inch uh, one print after the other closer to the perfect settings for your machine. Quick notice, uh, I've noticed that the settings needed for Litchi Slicer are a tiny bit different than for G2Box. And that is, why we provide separate profiles for that. So if you find that your printer needs like a little bit extra, just tweak that like one second at a time, do a little test print, and then you know if it's right. Thank you and enjoy printing awesome creations with your new resin. See ya.